Hey y'all, it's Ronnie. Um, I just wanted to talk to you in this little video today about um, art trading cards, um, ATCs they're called, ACEOs, which stands for Art Card Edition or Original. Um, as an artist, with the originals, that is a way for some of your fans to own an original piece of your art when a bigger piece is not really in their budget. Um, and for the art card prints, that is just a print. That's exactly what it is. is a small print of some, some, sorry, <laughs> of like one of your original pieces. Um, and to be honest with you, the art cards, original and prints, that has been the most successful thing for me. Because um, I'm not a very big, well-known artist. And it's not necessarily that I want to be either. Because I love being an artist. Um, but I spend a lot of time on my art car prints and I'll tell you why okay um, and just to forewarn you most of y'all who have followed me before know that sometimes I stop just like I just did I just now seen myself do that I'll stop and start looking around because all my stuff is candid um, I don't sit here and edit and do all that because I don't have time to do that. <laughs> and two, sometimes I'll stop and I'll start looking off in the distance. And like I said in that video that I posted a day or two ago, I'm not a dingbat. Okay. I have to stop and think about my words and search for the right words because my middle child is autistic and I talk very fast and I say a lot. And so I have to stop sometimes and think about what I want to say to try to condense it down, you know, a little bit. <laughs> well, I give it a good try anyway. But because of his autism, it's, um, I've fallen into that habit of stomping and I'm like, oh, okay, I need to try to say this in as few words as possible. But hey, I am a work in progress and I do try. And two, I am long-winded, and that comes from being a granddaughter of a Baptist preacher, so I don't hear it. Okay. Now, in in some future videos, and I'll probably start talking fast because I'm going to try to keep this ten minutes or less. <laughs> I'm going to give it an effort. Give it a try. Okay. Um, now, you'll hear me say Walmart a lot. Okay. We live in the sticks. Um... So Walmart is all we have here. You know, sometimes I'll have to, I'll have no choice but to order supplies and stuff online, and that's okay. But it's just we live in a very poor part of North Carolina, and I try to keep as much. And I don't spend a lot of money, but when I do spend money, I try to keep it local because there's been a couple of places who had art supply stores here. And they just, they went out of business because they couldn't make it because everybody was buying online. So I try my hardest to buy locally. So <laughs> the only thing I can buy locally from right now is Walmart. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Um, this is bristle vellum paper. It's in the craft section at Walmart, in the drawing section. It's back there usually where the canvas and acrylic paint and all that is um just next to the drawing paper i like this because it's very smooth um but as you can see got to be the size of a baseball card okay um and i you can see here we go okay i've already inked this one but i'm just now starting her well i say just now starting her i started it four months ago um, I freehand draw my fairies or whatever it is. I use that baseball card, y'all, to make me some boxes so that way I know that it's two and a half by three and a half inches. But like I said, now at Walmart, 
and they've just started carrying it here at this Walmart within the last couple of months. I've been doing art cards for five or six years, but now it's so convenient. But now at Walmart, they've started selling watercolor paper. I've seen canvas. Um, they might have the bristle that's already cut out in that size. But I'll probably eventually start using those because that is convenient. But not until I run out of paper. I'm getting close, so. But anyway, I don't waste because I grew up. Uh, we, we weren't rich. I still ain't rich. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't waste anything. If I've got like leftover canvas or whatever, I'll put it aside. And sometimes I'll paint a little art card on there because I don't waste stuff. Okay. Here's some more of my original ones that I've started. I've got four on here. I've I actually, um, when I do the originals, the art card size, I try to go ahead and do like six to ten at a time because it's time consuming. And I put just as much effort and time and love and care in my little ones as I do my great big ones. Um, and I'll probably, once I actually start back to working on these, I'll probably let y'all watch me do that. So, okay. Okay, now my art card prints are a little bit different, okay? Um, here is just an example of one. Like I said, art cards, I love my fans. And the only reason I do these art card prints is for my fans. I must love y'all because I put a lot of time in these. <laughs> I print, whoa, sorry. This is glossy photo paper. Okay. I use the really glossy kind it's like premium because I, I just I just prefer that okay yes it's the most expensive one down there but these are for my fans now if it was just for me I don't care but I love my fans okay and the back of my cards my art tells a story anybody who has one of my art cards that's like this know what I'm talking about for each and I think right now I've got 61 uh, different art card images and every single one of them has got a different story about that art card or something on the back of that card with the title and my signature and what edition this is the last time I'm doing these art cards. So after these are gone, I'm not doing any more like this. So, And now that I think back, if you are planning on doing art card prints, it's fine if you do an open edition. In other words, as many as you ever want to and never want to stop making them, that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you do limited edition... Please <laughs> try to keep it a smaller number. I look back now. I wished I hadn't have made a hundred for each. But just back at that time, you know, when you're first starting out being an artist and you're not very popular or, you know, just whatever, you don't have many looks or whatever. I was selling these like hotcakes, and that was the only thing I could sell. So, anyway, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, okay, if you'll look close. Okay, here's the image. The back of my card has got a very light image 
as a matter of fact, in Adobe Photoshop, Elements, under the Enhance button, under Color Variations, I believe is what it is, I lighten this eight times. And I'm very consistent. I lighten the image eight times. I type what I want to type on there. And then I save it. And did I show you the index card? I'm out right now. I'm going to have to go to and buy some more. This is the only thing I can get here. I don't print. I, I, I print the back of my art cards like this. Get the blank if you're going to do it my way. You don't have to do it my way. I'm just sharing. Um, I put two, one here and one here, and I print them one at a time because I don't know what it is, but I can't print eight out at a time like this because it blurs the blurs the back out and you can't even read it and it looks terrible and I'm not going to give my fans that. I wouldn't give it to them. I have a standard. But anyway, okay guys, this video is already 11 minutes. Oh, I'm trying so hard, but I'm failing epically. Um, I know there was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Oh well, if I think of, if I think of it, I'll tell you in another episode. Okay, I'll see y'all next time. Be good.